In this section of the course, we're going to talk about the network design process. Now I know this is an online course and there is no hands-on labs associated with it, so we can't actually design and build out a network, but I want you to be informed of what this process is as an aspiring IT professional or business professional. I want you to understand what the network design process is. So if, for example, you have a network administrator that comes to you and they need to build out a network. I want you to be able to provide valuable input into that process and to understand what's going on throughout that process so you understand from a business perspective and from an aspiring networking perspective if you want to get into that field you understand from a high level what's going on so let's go ahead and let's talk about what the process is so in this video we're just going to talk about the steps and then i'm going to dedicate specific videos to each steps so the first step in this process is that we need to identify the uses of the network because if we don't know the uses, then we don't know the specs that we're going to need. After we identify the uses of the network, then we're going to list the tasks associated with each of those systems on the network so we understand what each computer does on the network, what's its role, and what's not its role. And then we need to determine what type of network do we need. Are we going to be doing a centralized type of design, or are we okay with a peer-to-peer -peer network design? And then once we have all that information, and remember, you should already have a lot of this information because if you went through the planning process, a lot of that filters into the designing process. So all this should be filtering in from the planning. And if we get, if we need to get additional information during the design process, we can do that as well. But once we get past step three, then what we're going to do is we're going to start selecting the equipment. So we're talking about the servers, the desktops, the printers, the network devices, the cabling everything that we need to build out this network. Once we select what equipment we're going to use, we're going to draw a network design. So we're going to put a network design down on a piece of paper or on a system online where we're drawing it out. And then we're also, we're gonna write the specific specifications of the network. So we're not only gonna draw it out, but we're going to specify exactly what it should do, and what it should not do. And then once we have all that in place, once we get the approval, go ahead and we'll build it. So that's the network design process. Let's go ahead and let's start taking a look at step one in the next video.